Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a video about perfumes which you could wear as alternatives to Parfum de Mali's Delina fragrance, which seems to be the it fragrance in the past 6, 9, 12 months. Everyone seems to be talking about this and um, super popular bestseller but very, very expensive. So I'm gonna be giving you some ways that you can get a very similar scent for less money. If you're new here, then hi, hello, we're all about perfumes here. Check out my hundreds and hundreds of other videos. I have a video on the Perfume de Mali perfume range. I'll leave it linked down below. As always, I'll also leave linked down below in the description where you can buy all the perfumes I talk about in the UK, Europe, and USA. And if you are a regular but you haven't subscribed yet, then do hit that subscribe button and show your support. I really appreciate it. And you can support me on Patreon as well now for extra exclusive content. Cool, so the Parfum de Mali fragrance is a very good fragrance, it's really strong, it really lasts, but you're talking maybe £150, something around that area for this fragrance, so obviously that's not in everyone's budget. Essentially what the fragrance is, is it's a combination of two main notes, which is a warm rose and lychee and that's quite an unusual modern combination it's not something we've seen until fairly recently I think so it's just like struck a chord and just proved really popular as a almost sour fruity but with this big bouquet of roses that really lasts and really sticks around I know loads of people have this on their wish list so ways that you can get a very similar vibe, essentially I would say is, if it's the lychee part of it that you love, I have um, a couple of recommendations, but also, but I think for me the closest thing on the market at the moment is the new Carolina Herrera Very Good Girl. I don't think this is out in the US yet, it's certainly out here in Europe, um, but I'll update the links with the US link once it is out there. This is a rose and lychee perfume. So they were, I suspect, potentially inspired by Zelina when they made this. It's not exactly the same. It's much fruitier, the lychee um, and this sort of fresh fruitiness is much more stronger than it is in the Delina one. The rose here is less of a strong note, but it's broadly similar. And what you could do is you could also maybe add some extra rose to this by layering it with something like Izimiyaki Rose and Roses, which is a beautiful rose, or something a bit heavier. But as these both settle down, when I compare them, they settle into something really quite similar. I'd say this is maybe 20% more towards the lychee fruity, um, fruity side than the Delina one is, but it's broadly similar. Another thing you could do would be to take a lychee perfume and my top recommendation for lychee perfumes is Angel Nova. Lychee is the dominant note here and it's very, very good for lasting. Muggler perfumes are super strong. Mm. Um, it's just all lychee. And then what I would do is I would then add something that's really rosy like Mon Paris Intensement, or the new Kayali Sweet Diamond, something that's a really heavy rose, mix it with the lychee, and then you kind of get Delina, maybe Miss Dior, which is very rosy, uh, Chloe, Eau de Parfum, add in the lychee, and then you're getting that same rose lychee vibe that you get from Delina. So you could probably get one of these for maybe like 40 pounds and then another 40 pounds and then that's like half the price of what you'd be paying for the Delina fragrance. So you can afford to, you know, use way more. So I think because Delina is a relatively simple fragrance with those two main notes, there are ways that we can recreate it for ourselves for a more affordable price. But obviously nothing is gonna be exactly the same as the real thing. It is a really pretty bottle. If you love your pink vibes and you do want something really heavy, I think it is worth the investment if you love, love, love the smell because it does really last. And I can see why it's so popular at the moment. Cool, so guys, I hope that was useful, helpful. Maybe I've been able to save you a little bit of money there. Let me know your recommendations for alternatives to Delina. Let me know in the comments. I do read all your comments. But that's it, guys. So thanks so much for watching, as always. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.